Yo, this is Soul Drum 86 bringing you another video. Uh, I know I normally do action figure content, but those of you who have those of you that have been following me long enough know that I will talk about video games sometimes. I wish I had a video game capture card to at least have some gameplay playing in the back, but um, because this is a wrestling video game, I decided to just have Diesel and Shawn Michaels in the, in the wrestling ring right now, and uh, let me just talk about. Um, yeah, let me talk about WWE 2K22. Um, and I don't want to make this video long. I want this video to be as, as quick as possible. But in the past, I've talked about WWE 2K before. I've talked about Universe Mode. That's the most played game mode that they have. That's the game mode that I play the most. Um, it's a game mode that has been requested to put more in it, have more in it, have more control you being able to literally control every aspect of the show. I've made videos like this talking about things that I want to see put in uh, Universe Mode. And me and a bunch of other content creators and a bunch of other... Uh, I shouldn't even say, like, sp more specifically 2K content creators. They've all expressed this to 2K over the last seven, six years. Uh, um, and it it's just... It's crazy how these things won't get implemented into the game they literally treat universe mode like how ea treats madden's franchise mode there's a reason why there was a hashtag fix franchise that was going you know viral for for ea because they weren't listening like at some point in time it's like yo like what's going on here now i talk big about nba 2k everybody who knows me knows i love nba 2k i know nba 2k has its problems um but I, you know, but I play the NBA portion of the game, and I don't really mess with the park. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of my career. Uh, I play the NBA portion of the game. I do the I do NBA 2K's my NBA franchise mode, or a lot of the times I even like to play NBA Today, where you play, you could pick, uh, you know, one of the games that are coming on um, on that day and and, and play it. Um, but you know, one thing that I'll say, even with the issues and the annoyances that are with NBA 2K. The one thing that you can say is that at least the people who make NBA 2K, you can tell that they love basketball. You can tell that they have a passion for NBA basketball because the game literally plays out like an actual NBA game, right? You know, it it it, it takes NBA simulation to heart. It really is an NBA simulation. But when you look at WWE 2K and the lack of features year after year the little input in certain game modes year after year after year i've come to the conclusion that hmm maybe it's because with wwe 2k they have developers who aren't passionate about wrestling they have developers who are truly not wrestling fans they just have developers who know how to like program and 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 do this and do that but they're really truly not wrestling fans because I'm sorry, there's no way that games that came out 20 plus years ago should be better than WWE 2K. Why is it that I could still enjoy WWF No Mercy or WrestleMania 2000 or the old SmackDown vs. Raw games? Why is it that I can enjoy those games, and not just me, a lot of us, enjoy those games more than a game that is made in this era? It makes no sense. It's 2022, guys. And yet we're getting another wrestling game that is bare bones. They bring back my GM, but it's a weaker version of my GM. There's less that you can do in it than years past. When it when it was what was it seven eight years ago when my GM was uh, in in SmackDown versus Raw or whatever? Like come on man, it, it just it doesn't make any sense. People still talk about SmackDown. Here comes the pain. What WWE 2K games do people talk about now? Like, like seriously. You know, maybe WWE, WWE 2K13. Or I think, no, that was actually WWE 13. I don't even know if that was 2K then. With the Attitude Era mode that you could do. And that's one of the, that was one of my last, like, favorite wrestling games. But when I look at the NBA, or NBA, when I look at the WWE 2K series, I can't look at one of those that I can say was like, oh, this, this game is really awesome. Maybe the Stone Cold one. When they put in those, when you could do the showcase with Stone Cold, 
because there was so many different matches and you pretty much went through his entire career, that was actually really fun. But outside of that, outside of that, WWE 2K has always just been a game where they implement something and we're going to give you just enough. We're not going to give you more. We're going to implement it, but we're not really going to do anything with it. When they added promos in the game, they botched that. Because the promos don't make any sense. The promos don't make any sense. The characters don't move like how they should move. You'll have Rome, you'll have Roman Reigns doing a promo, but he'll be real animated and he'll kind of have the body language of like he's somebody like Dolph Ziggler or something. It's weird. It's like they couldn't even take the time to get those little details right. They just said, hey, we got promos. Here you go. WWE 2K, those developers, they add something in and they'll have an idea to do something, but they never take it a step further. It's just, hey, here you go. This is it. Bare bones. That's all. Nothing more at all. And it's just been that. And I've just come to the conclusion that these guys and girls that work on the game, they're just not passionate about wrestling because if they were, we would have so much in the 2K right now and then some. The fact that fans keep coming up with better ideas and suggesting like, hey, put this in there, put this in there. This is what we want. And the fact that they constantly ignore, they're either incompetent or they just don't care enough. I'm going to go with they just don't care enough. So because they don't care enough, I am not buying this game. I may get it if it's on sale for like $20 because this will go on sale at some point. At some point pretty soon, you'll be able to go into a Target and see that WW2K is like $34.99. You'll be able to see that it's like $34.99. But uh, other than that, yeah, I'm not paying $70 for this game. It's a waste of money, man. It's, a, it's a literally a waste of money. If you are getting 2K and you're happy about it, all power to you. I'm happy that you're happy about it. But I know that there's a lot of us just getting this game because it's a new wrestling game coming out. I, I'd rather wait for the AEW game. Like Kenny Omega said that this is not going to compete with WWE 2K. Y yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. If you think for one second that AEW game is not going to be better than 2K, you got another thing coming. Even if it doesn't have the same amount of game modes, it'll be funner to play than WWE. 2k it's probably going to have a road to wrestlemania mode which i think they kind of alluded it's probably going to be some mode like i don't know road to double or nothing but i i can guarantee you because it's being made with the same kind of style as those old thq games this aew game look out because i know kenny omega i think he was just being nice I really do think he was just being nice. I think we're going to be blown away by this AEW game. That's just me. But I really think that with, with what they got planned, whatever they got planned, it's going to be anything will be better than what we get from 2K. So that's all I wanted to say. Like I said, didn't want this video to be too long. Just wanted to let you all know, and a lot of you probably already knew this, the reason why we never get a great WWE 2K game it's because the developers just don't care enough about wrestling. They just don't. Their main priority in that whole company is the NBA game. So, yeah, man. WWE 2K is like the NBA Live of the EA sports franchises that come out. But it is what it is, man. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, as always. This is Soul Drum 86 and I'm out. Peace.